Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode number four of my Airline Tycoon series with Phoenix Travel. In today's episode, we are going to be selling a plane, and then we're going to be buying a new one. And I might drop a route, I'm pretty sure I am adamant I'm going to drop a route, the Bangkok to Singapore, just because it's not yielding me enough money. However, I am willing to give it a go on a larger plane to see how much more profits it would yield. So right now, the main issue, if you didn't see the last episode, is that we are currently flying quite a lot from Singapore to Bangkok. Pretty much this plane is flying back to back. On the occasion, it does have another flight. That is usually an order of some sort with passengers. But it's got such a short distance, and because Singapore doesn't actually have that many connections, it's not the modern world. Singapore, I know right now, is a, is an Asia port, I guess you could say. What you call them in this con or this continent is Euroports, where they're like big transfer hubs, such as London Heathrow, Frankfurt, uh, Amsterdam Schimperoffel. I think Frankfurt's called... Frankfurt Mainz. No, it's not. It's called Frankfurt Oder... I don't know. These three are like the biggest airports in Europe, and you often use these to transfer. I know Singapore is one of them in... Singapore, Hong Kong um, are in that part of Asia anyway, and then you've also got like Dubai, and you've also got like Qatar, I guess as well. Um, maybe even Bahrain you'd use as well. So these are like big transfer airports. Singapore is now, but evidently back in the day it probably wasn't. Hence why I've not got a lot of connections. So that's a problem, and that's why honestly I'm I mean I'm getting what maybe. 11,000 is the most I've had, and it's not going to get to groundbreaking numbers unless I go longer. And for longer distance, I basically need to go and start to just go for a bigger plane. A, a plane that can go a longer distance, and that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to keep this plane until Friday, then it's going to get sold on the Saturday. So that means that we really need to go ahead and... Just not take anything further than Saturday. I do need to take stuff on the bigger plane actually and that's something that I will do. However, before tomorrow comes around we need to start to look at doing some uh, sabotage. So I've looked up some of these threads and I'm just going to go ahead and do them right now very very quickly. So I can save myself money on security quite shortly as well which should be a good thing. I need to buy this violin case which is fine, and then I need to go ahead and go to the petrol air guy. I then need to go ahead and select the item, and then I can now use sabotage, which is good. So if we come out of here and we go into, not there, but if we come back out of here, then we press the fire extinguisher, we can now go in here and we can now actually have sabotage happening, which I will do, but not just at this current second. I do want to check the bank though and see if there's much more shares. Oh wow, she did issue quite a lot of shares there at Sunshine. Which is not good because my share price has gone. My share price, my share amount's at 4% now. Which to be honest, I don't think it would cost a lot to buy back into. And I probably will still buy back into it. Let me go ahead and have a look here. So I just want to see, I'd like to buy stocks please. And then the amount, so Sunshine has a lot going, but they're not worth a lot. So if I was to get the maximum amount I can, which is 23, that's going to cost me 500,000. It's not going to cost me a lot. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and buy it, because that means I now have a 27% share. And I am basically going to land up taking over that airline. $62 the share. I can't see them going back over 100 if I'm totally honest. So I can see that being a very, very easy takeover. I really think Falcon Airlines or Falcon Lines is my biggest competitor, which is a good thing. I already know my opposition. So right now we sort of, it's just a bit of a waiting game to be honest. We are going to look at flights and then it's really going to be planes on the Saturday, but I've just had a thought. I don't know the museum's opening hours. So I need to wait till the museum closes, which I believe is at five o'clock actually. So let's jump into here. So we need something basically for Saturday afternoon onwards, which is actually nothing up here for Saturday. We can take some Sunday stuff. Bangkok to Singapore, we can take. We've already got one of them, but I'll happily take another. Then on the Sunday, we can take that as well. That goes across the Indian Ocean. 
But it's very much worth it, I think, for a 30,000 or 300,000, should I say, dollar bills. So we'll go ahead and go for that and we'll stick these two in the schedule. Over the next day, I can't actually remember how profitable we are going to be on the Erfurt plane. We've got some relatively good flights. Yeah, we do actually. So I think we should make quite a bit of money. So Bangkok to Singapore. We've got Singapore to Bangkok. So if we stick you right at the end there. Or no, let me do, do this again. Let me stick you there. And then stick you there. So that's me basically just got a back-to-back -back chartered schedule, which is fine. You need to go in here. So we're still free on Saturday and we'll pick up another flight tomorrow. What I want to do is I want to exit out and we can... We're going to jump into here actually. Though you're closed, so that's fair enough. What time? Is, does the museum close now? Uh, for some reason I've got a feeling it's open to 7 on certain days. I think it is, which is kind of frustrating. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it quits there for today. And then we'll see really what tomorrow brings. So we went up a good, what, 400,000 there and no more sabotage, which is great to see. So let's go into the office. Let's first of all see how we're doing in terms of these flights. So you're actually up at 13,000, which is weird. It's making me, I don't still have to sell this plane. You're at 6,000, then you were at 11,000, you were at... Yeah, it's interesting, it really is. I mean, the bigger plane's still going to be the better option. I mean, if I make 13,000 throughout the day, a total of... What? I mean, I can probably get six flights in, it looks like, back to back. If I am to make the maximum cash every single time, 13 times 6 is... Uh, what? I mean, in the 80s. So it's not groundbreaking. 26, 326s, 226s are... Yeah, so it's not even, it's 78. 78,000. 80,000 I'm basically making. That's if I max out. It's not worth it at all. It really isn't worth it. So that's why we're not going to continue with it. So we are definitely going to go through with the sale. I just need to make sure that there's no flight scheduled so I can actually sell it tomorrow morning. Though again, I don't know when the museum's open, if it is open on the weekends, because the weekends in this game can be quite frustrating. Anyway, you're back in Singapore on Saturday morning, so we need to get you going somewhere. First of all though, the museum's closed so you're not open at the weekends, which is an issue. Big issue. So we are going to have to maybe keep the flight going over the weekend actually, because I'm not going to not only have one plane, I'm, I'm wasting money on flight attendants if you understand what I'm saying, so it's not really worth it. I'm thinking I'm going to take this flight here because it's a short distance and I need to actually be back in Singapore anyway. I could also do that one though. Tokyo to Singapore, Singapore to Hong Kong, and then come back on that one. So let's do those two in correlation, and then we're looking for longer term ones. There's actually quite a lot of good flights there right now, but unfortunately, just due to things changing and what's going on right now, I can't actually pick any of those up. Though I am very much looking forward to when I can pick flights up like that up, because I'll have two planes to be able to do it with. So let's do Singapore to Hong Kong and then the Tokyo flight, which will go in there. And that works out pretty well. Gives the plane a rest on the Saturday evening. Or maybe move you back a little bit. So it's, there's a little bit of a rest in Hong Kong anyway. And then also in Singapore before it flies out to Bangkok on the Sunday morning. And it's good money as well. That's 500,000. Only loses 22,000. 177,000. The next few days are actually going to be very profitable. Looking back to here right now. We are actually going to fill up the schedule with two more days pretty much just because we really might as well. We can't sell the plane yet so I can't really do too much about that. So we are just going to go ahead and pretty much have two days. I'm going to probably skip forward these days very quickly actually. But we might as well not waste money so I'm going to go ahead and put some flights in there and then we're just going to carry this over. I am cautious about gate collisions, that's why it's not a total full rota, but it's going to have to be sold on the Monday morning, so we can have continuous back-to-back -back flights right through until Monday morning at about, what, 12 o'clock? No, let's not do that last one. So there we go, that will be it. So we'll push you forward a tiny bit like that, so that'll be the last flight arriving in. That'll arrive in before I get into work at 9 o'clock, so I'll be able to sell it as soon as I arrive in. Okay, that's good. We're we missing any other flights? I think we're all good. 
So with that said, we can skip forward to at least tomorrow on that basis. So that is us, yeah, good. that was good, 600,000 overnight, which is very, very tasty indeed. Today I'm going to run around, and uh, today's a Saturday though, Saturdays I feel are always very limiting. Sunday we're in uh, Madagascar, so we need to try and see what we can do from there. Madagascar on a Sunday, I don't think we're going to really be able to get a return flight from there, though if it is in the Monday I'll obviously take it, I don't mind being on the ground for a few hours. We'll just wait here for Sunshine Airline, or Airways, I believe they're called, to move out the way. Okay, so what we're we looking at, first of all, I am more looking at the day. So it is Sunday I'm worried about. Singapore to Perth. It's not a bad flight, actually. Will I get back in time? I probably can. You're Sunday and Tuesday, so you're not really a match. Singapore to... We've got lots of Singapore to Melbourne here. We can definitely make a match here. So if we take the, uh, ooh, which one's the more expensive one out of the two? So let's take the Tuesday and pair you guys up. And let's take you for the Sunday. And that should definitely be okay. So we'll go ahead and fit those three in. I need to go to the bank today. I also need to go get some pills. I finally find out how to get pills. So we are going to do quite a few Easter eggs today. So Singapore, are you going to get back in time? You're not, so that's an issue. Why don't we stick you in there first? There's a gate collision there on the Sunday night, but I can get rid of that one, no problem. Just move you up to there, for example, and that's fine, and you'll still be back by the time I get into work the next day, so that's no problem there. You've just been moved an hour or two, so that fits in nicely there, and then the remaining flights we can get in on the same day. So that's going to be... I'll stick you there, and then stick you there. So, where is this again? This is... Yeah, okay, so you're back, actually. Yeah, okay, so we didn't solve that issue at all for Monday. Monday in Madagascar. So, Monday, if we can even get something maybe from the Middle East or something like that, I need something which is... I don't just want to fly across the Indian Ocean if I can avoid it on the Monday. So, Monday, Monday, Monday. First of all, filter by Monday. Tokyo, Singapore, no goods. Nothing else is very good. In terms of regions, nothing's very good as well. It's not... That's the problem with the Indian Ocean. It's just, it's too big. So what we will have a look at is, last minute won't have much, and nor will... Well, I mean, the museum isn't open today, so it's not much help. It's not going to be much help anyway. We could look at cargo, to be fair, actually. That's a shout, which I'll do in a second. That's not changed, that's not changed. I really don't care about Falcon right now, to be honest. I'm more just concerned about Sunshine and about Honey, to be honest. So, we'll just really have to see how things go. Anyway, let's jump into the cargo terminal and see what's up. Because I am intrigued to see if I can fill this gap. It would be good if I could, but I am at the same time realistic and understand that some things just don't align. And we might land up having to waste that money. And it's looking like it, unfortunately. We've got some flights on the Tuesday, but they're not really coming our way, if you understand what I'm saying. They're really not. And a lot of them as well, in terms of capacity, is it's not good. I mean, we could do that one, but it's on the Tuesday, and the Tuesday's no help to me. So I think we're just going to have to fly back across the Indian Ocean and lose some money. It is a loss of about 80000 but we do land up making more than that. But if, if I can, I'm almost going to try and reduce the costs where possible. With that done then, we are, yes, yeah, so you lose 58,000 on that, you make 198, so it is a cut into the profit margins, but it's still not that bad at all. Actually, going over there, 34,000, yeah, I mean, you actually do lose quite a bit of money there. We're only making, what, 219,000 for the flight, and we lose 58 off the bat, so that is quite, I mean, it's, it's a, a significant portion. That's a good, what, maybe a third? Maybe, yeah, a fourth, a fourth of the profits, so it is something to note. Okay, right, let's skip forward to tomorrow because I don't think we have anything else to do today. We're up into three million for the first time in a long time, which is a good thing. I want to be on the money right now anyway, just because I kind of need the money. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually skip Sunday as well. Sundays in the airports are just not great, to be honest. So that is us into Monday, and we can now sell our planes. So let's look at some of the stats going into today. So. First of all, as we can see, passenger numbers are significantly higher, which is great. 
Again, just going for the raw passenger numbers, which helps increase the airline image based off advertising. Even though I haven't been making a lot of money on the Bangkok route, I've still been flying it, so more people know about our airline. In terms of personnel, I mean, that's not really something that changes much. I did a little bit of recruitment, I believe, in episode number two, just to improve stuff. But I've got such a small roster of staff that it doesn't really make too much of a significant difference right now. I can't really improve the eight staff by that much. In terms of planes, they're fine as well. I'm not really too sure how, but we'll have a look at that today, definitely. So we have a look here, all other airlines have three planes. We're actually gonna sell a plane, then buy a plane. Unless a really good plane is on the market at a cheaper price. So I'm just gonna write down here, we need Tuesday evening from Singapore. So we actually need to get something in there as well, and that's on the bigger plane. So museum doesn't open till 11, so we'll try and fill in the schedule where possible this morning. Please beat Sunshine. If Sunshine's going in there, I'm beating her. There we go, that's good. Right, okay, so we are looking at Tuesday onwards. There's going to be no Tuesdays. I, can, I, I just knew that was coming, you know that. What is, is there anything that's exceptionally profitable? Because I feel we have really been benefiting. There's a Singapore to Tokyo and a Tokyo to Singapore. They're the wrong way around though, that's the annoying thing. We could do until Friday, so we could do Singapore to Seoul. And then we could do Tokyo to Singapore, so that would work. Then we have got a... Mm, there's nothing really I can do in Twine because you all leave at Singapore, unfortunately. So we'll come out of there for now. I've not really solved my Tuesday issue though, have I? So let's do Tuesday from Singapore. We'll go to last minute actually, not been to last minute in a while. See how the ladies are doing along here. I hope they have something to offer. And do they? First of all, we need to filter by not today, but tomorrow. Tuesday, that's the wrong part of the world. That is the wrong part of the world. That's the wrong day and wrong part of the world. Not much going on there, to be honest. So what we're going to have to do is... I just want to check the flight board, actually, because I'm intrigued. All these other airlines have, like, three planes, but they're not flying, so... Yeah, it's weird. Well, I mean, I've got actually nothing happening today either, so because I've got one plane which is on the ground ready to get sold. If it will be sold still, that's actually now up for debate, because I do have another option. However, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, it's Singapore to Seoul on the Wednesday morning, and that works out nicely. So that's 196,000, a loss of 10, and 136,000. So Wednesday, all in all, is a quite a profitable date as well. Though we can still get something on the Tuesday evening, as long as it doesn't push out stuff too much. As long as it's not a 20 hour round trip, then we should be okay. So we're still looking, I mean I could just do an until contract, down to for example, Sydney, but I mean until contracts are, some of them are long. That is the thing, so Thursday, Peking, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit annoying here actually, you know that it really is. That's another really good one across to Madagascar. That's a lot of money as well, so we'll probably take that one. The problem is with the Madagascar flights is you can never put anything with them. That's the only downside, but they are usually extremely profitable. And that one is, so I think we will take that. Yeah, let's do that, and we'll fill that in later on. Anyway, it's time to go inquire about the planes. So, my original plan was to go ahead and sell my plane and then get a better plane, but we have the funds that we could actually run two planes. However, can we realistically run two planes? And is there any planes I can afford in here right now anyway, which I want? Good question. So, no, unfortunately, and this is annoying. We literally have to play it day by day though, that is the thing. So as we can see right now, we've got this plane here. It's just a bit out my budget. If I sell my other plane, I think I get maybe about 30 odd million. So that would get me, what, 30.4. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm actually, I'm gonna sell it. The state owns 90% of the plane, a good share offer, but... Okay, so I need to cancel all my flights on it first. So there's obviously some, still some flights in the scheduler. Though there's no other planes in there I want to buy right now anyway, I can't afford them, so... I am just gonna fill up the schedule for today anyway and then wait till tomorrow. Because, again, I, I can still make very marginal amounts of money on the route, so I might as well go for it. 
We also need to schedule in this other flight to Madagascar as well. So 63 for, I still make what, 280,000 there, which is grand. So let's get some more flights in today. We can at least do one trip over the water, if not two. Yeah, we should be able to get two in, no problem. So stick you in there. You are a uh, gate collision, but you sh Oh, come on. Whoa, we a lot of use of the gates, and this is why I want to buy another gate, actually. So there we go, so that's another two. How did the two do this morning? 6,000 and 10,000, again, that's 16,000. If I was to triple that, it's still not a lot of money, it really isn't, so it's... Things are not that great, to be honest, are they? Did I just... Oh, dear. Uh, yes, let's delete the whole flight plan and start again. I'm just curious what some of the buttons were, to be fair, so... But that wasn't worth it at all. So let's stick you in there, and you in there, and with that done, that should be fine for now. In terms of the... That's... Falcon are up to now, I mean, all other airlines have issued shares, I'm pretty sure, or maybe Honey hasn't. Honey hasn't, but the other two have, so that's why they're affording so much. I really don't want to issue shares, I don't like that game at all. I might try that later down the line, but I really don't fancy it, so... I'd rather just have two planes on the move and on stop. As we can see as well, route it is making us, so that's how much it makes us a month if we're to run it all the time. That's not a lot, it's really not worth it when we're paying 400,000 and we're using a whole plane for it. Basically our second plane is purely reserved for it and it's just not worth it at all. How are we doing here right now? I just need to double check if all the shares are bought out and they are... I think, yeah, they are. So 2,000 and 8,000 is 10,000. 30, 3,000 and 12,000 is 45,000. And I've got all mine. So, yeah, unfortunately, there's no real more movement anyway. So we'll call it a day there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make our way back down. I'll put the game onto times three. Though I do want to do some Easter egg stuff before we actually get going today. So you two are just about done. And then that's good. So we'll remove you. We will... Go back to this page here, remove you and remove you. We're looking at flights from Singapore from Thursday now. So I'm just writing this down because I know I'm going to forget already. So we are ready to do that in a heartbeat, which is good. So let's have a look at the use of gates. Um, so, I mean, is there much justification for another gate yet? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. If we run three planes, yes. But again, it really, really depends. It really does depend. Anyway, let's come out of here and let's go ahead and... I don't know why I'm in here right now. You know that. I really don't. Let's come out of here. So what do I need to do today? Oh, they're advertising. I don't need that. Thank you. Right. Um, It's difficult. I should probably just go look at planes. We're up to 4 million as well. i just doing the same stuff over and over again. I said we'd do Easter egg stuff though, so let's do Easter egg stuff. So... Let's start off by jumping in here. Let's grab this bad boy. Let's leave here. Now we're going to... I've had a thought actually. Is there a good branch office? Because you can do scheduled routes from Seoul. Now I need to, to see the world map. Oh, did I just buy that? Right, well we have Seoul. Which isn't a bad thing necessarily. So if I jump into here... Does this mean I've got access to Seoul's routes on here? Miami, uh, no. So these are the possible ones I can take, aren't they? Yeah. The thing is, I mean, Seoul has access to... Or does Seoul? Seoul doesn't have much, actually, does it? Seoul doesn't have cross-Atlantic. That's what I want. Is Or trans-Pacific, sorry, should I say. Can we remove that now? Yeah. Can I talk to you? Uh, I want to apply for an expansion, nothing, yeah. Can we remove this? I don't want that. How do I remove it? Let me go into admin. Um, talk to you, maybe? Flight attendants, uh, salaries, nope. And you will be a note as well. I'm just trying to think. Uh, advisor, pilot. How do I get rid of that now? 
I don't want a branch office. That's the. I mean, don't get me wrong. Other airlines have them, but I really don't think they're that useful. Anyway, let's continue on, and yeah, let's actually jump back in here. So we're going to continue on with this Easter egg trail. So I'll give that to you. Then I can take the pills. Which is good. So that means now I can actually get rid of airport security in my office and save money. So if I have back to you, I can just take the pills. I'm not actually in any rush to get rid of it though, so it's not the worst thing in the world. With that done, we have a flight on the move today from Melbourne coming back into here, which is good. But that's not till this evening. So we're going to run along to the museum and see if there's been any plane changes. Big ask. I hope there is, but I don't think there has been. So that's interesting actually, you are an upgrade, I mean you're old though, you're very very old, so that's not worth it at all I don't think. You are very cheap though, so that's not a bad thing. You're too small in terms of capacity and then you are, see you're good. Your range is good, your passenger numbers are good. I'm going to take this plane on and I might not sell my other one, you know that. Right, we'll go ahead and buy this. Okay, I'll take it. So that puts me down to very little money, but I need to see the maintenance costs on this because this plane is not going to be in good condition at all. So let's get you walking. So a long way. We're literally going from one end of the airport to the other right now. We need to go into the Flug, which I'm pretty sure means plane. Does it? Flug. Flugzugen. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean plane. I don't know. It might, it might do, it might not. Anyway, right, and German. That word's definitely German, I can tell you that much. Right, uh, I'd like to talk about my planes. Um, now, wait, can I see the condition of my planes? Uh, please repair the planes as follows. So the problem is, yeah, you need a lot of work on you. So my target, for example, even though it's 50, that would cost 600,000, which is a lot. So I am going to sell my other plane for this larger plane. I think that's just a, a good business decision, even though it's a newer plane. I am happy running older planes. Don't get me wrong, but I need the money to be able to fix it up because at 47%, it's going to have to spend a long time on the ground. And that's just not a good idea right now. We're also going to get rid of the route as well. I don't want to rent that route anymore. It's just redundant. I might be able to branch offices, airports. Have we got Seoul on this list? Not yet. But yeah, this is where I probably would be able to remove it. Interesting pictures, actually. Well, let's put it this way. I don't think the capital city of Seoul looks like that, first of all, because I know it's just a concrete valley. And then that is it's probably more to do with culture instead of the actual city. It's more country culture. So, oh, there we go, North Korea. I always love a bit of North Korea. Right, so yeah, so I would be able to remove it from there, which is fine. Anyway, we're not here for that today. We are here for planes. We are here for this. And I want to sell this. Now, I don't think I need to remove anything else. So let's run back along to the museum. And let's see what we can do. And if we can get this plane sold and then run all the way back down the other end and see if we can get some upgrading done. That's what I would like. However, it takes a little while, <laughs> as you can tell. So I would like to sell an aeroplane. I would like to sell... Imagine if I sold the wrong one, how bad would that be? It's yours. There we go. So that's me got the additional money now. So I'm down to two aircraft. So let's start running all the way. We'll actually tap you there, so we get you moving a little bit faster than there. And then the final run all the way along here. I know there's keyboard shortcuts, I just don't know them to be honest. I'll learn them at some point, but... I don't really feel... I, I like looking at the airport as it is anyway. Because, I mean, right now we're just staring at this. I like going through the airport, seeing the passengers, seeing everyone doing their business, so... It's kind of interesting. Anyway, let's jump into here. Um, please repair my planes as follows. So you're going to be a much higher target than that. We're going to go for... I'm happy to spend a lot of money on planes. I'm going to go for 70% probably. Well, that's a bit much, isn't it? Um, 63% right now. Yeah. Well, not all planes. It's just that one. 
So I don't know if that gets done ev like in the straight like straight away. I'm very unsure there, so we'll just have to wait and see. I didn't actually check the cargo tonnage either, because I need to write this down. So I know it can carry a lot of people. That's the bottom line, as I always say that line. But uh Yeah, I'm intrigued now. I'm very intrigued. So yeah, I mean we can't even fly you right now, can we? Based on the reason I don't think I have enough flight attendants. I think that's my biggest problem. So yeah, I need one more flight attendant, I believe. Yep. So let's go ahead and get that issue sorted. Then we can get it into the air. I'm in no rush to get it into the air though. I want to see if I can maybe try and make the Thailand route profitable. But we'll just have to wait or more profitable. We'll just wait and see. So I need flight attendants. 11 applications. Um, let's go for this person. Very highly gifted. That will do. So that solves that issue. So that means that plane can hit the sky, even though it's only on 47%. Let's look at the breakdown though. 25 tons of freight is one extra than our previous plane. So let's put it this way. We're not really going to be doing planes, are we? I mean, or we're obviously doing planes, but cargo. But cargo's never really been the main aim, has it? So it's really not. What this is looking like is, I don't like that first of all anyway, I think I'm going to try to keep this like a budget plane. So this is going to go down to a ratio of that. Uh, so that means that really I have, oh that's not changed, I'm not doing the math either. The bottom line is though it's got much better statistics, which I'm very quickly going to write down and I'm going to carry that over into the next episode actually. So what I'm going to do ladies and gentlemen is I'm going to wrap up episode number 4 here. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you are new around here. Go ahead and support me on Twitter and on Patreon. Links are both down below. And that's all for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I speak very fast in the outro. I do realise that. And I'm out.